Food GBF or whatever it is we're calling this channel. Tonight I got a great recipe for you. It is absolutely a go-to. I think I say that on every video that this is my go-to, but I got a lot of go-tos. This is a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin smothered in maple syrup and brown sugar, or brown, we're actually doing brown mustard because we can't do sugar because it's keto friendly. But it is so good. Let me show you the ingredients. We come over here, I got a three pound pork tenderloin. We've got bacon. The ingredients are pretty simple. Sugar-free maple syrup, that's gonna keep it keto friendly. Olive oil, that's in every recipe we use. Liquid smoke, gonna give it some flavor. Worcestershire sauce. Sugar-free ketchup. This actually has, from a uh, carbohydrate standpoint, one carbohydrate per two tablespoons, so it stays keto friendly. We're gonna have minced garlic, black pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic pepper, or garlic salt, paprika, pink Himalayan sea salt, I absolutely love, and spicy brown mustard, because it also has no carbohydrates. This is what we're gonna be using instead of the brown sugar, all right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the bacon, secure it with um, toothpicks, and we'll come back in a little while and I show you how we start to cook it and what we do as far as the rubs and all that kind of stuff. All right, we'll be back soon. Okay, step two, so we have everything mixed up in a bowl. Everything is good, there's your base. We're literally gonna take it and we are gonna baste the pork tenderloin with a whole bunch of this. This is literally everything, all the ingredients that I talked about, this is everything here, okay? We're gonna baste it, then I'm gonna wrap it in bacon, secure the bacon with toothpicks, and we're gonna go back and put a whole bunch more of this on it on top. While we're doing that, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. And uh, if you have a cast iron skillet, get that ready because that's what we're gonna cook it in. We're actually gonna cook it on the oven top, um, sear it. We're gonna sear all four sides with the bacon. The bacon grease works really great with the cast iron pan. It helps season your pan and it also makes it better to cook in. So that'll work. And then we're gonna pull it out and put it in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes to finish it off. That's how we're gonna do it. But I just wanted to see you guys go ahead and baste it very liberally with all this. Okay, and then I'll show you a couple tricks before we go ahead and uh, throw it on the oven and start cooking it. Okay, here's our bacon wrapped tenderloin. We got a pound of bacon wrapped around three pounds of tenderloin. We're gonna go back with the sauce and we're literally gonna load it up again. You cannot get too much of this. There's nothing in it that you can't have and this is where you're really gonna get that good smoky flavor um, with the sweet flavor too that's gonna come from the spicy brown mustard, uh, the liquid smoke, and especially the syrup. What I'm actually going to do, and you guys are probably going to laugh, but heck with a mixture, we're going to go ahead and we're literally going to run some maple syrup all over it because the maple syrup is literally what makes this stand out above the rest. All right, next thing you know, we're going to go ahead and heat up the pan. We'll get some quick video of us getting this seared on all four sides. We're going to throw it in the oven at 350 degrees and we'll show you the finished product after that. We've got the bacon covered pork tenderloin in the cast iron pan. We've seared one side. You can see there the other side is searing right now. Um, you guys are going to laugh because I, I've got my Ugg glove on. You're going to see in a lot of these videos, I've got, if it says as seen on TV, it's going to be as seen in the GBF Swole Kitchen because we've got it. This thing is fantastic. So anyway, um, while it's finishing up here, we're going to go ahead and actually put on uh, a little bit more of the stuff. Really cover it in this because this is where all the flavor is going to come from. I'm going to let this side sear probably about another minute or so. And that'll be all four sides seared. We're going to throw it in the oven at 350. And like I said, we're loading it up on all this. And once it's in the oven, we're going to let it cook about 15 minutes. Uh, check the temperature of it and pull it out. And we will show you the finished pro uh, product here in just a minute. We took the pork tenderloin out of the oven, cooked it uh, to about an internal temperature of 135, 140 degrees in different spots. It should go to about 145. But I wanted to take it out before it was completely done. I want to run a whole nother layer of the juices all over it. Okay, we're gonna make sure all the flavor is all over it and it's covered. And then we're gonna let it sit, kind of in its own juices, continue in the cast iron pan. You're gonna cover it with some tin foil and tent it. Let it sit there by itself for about another five minutes or so and it's gonna finish cooking in its own juices. And then uh, we'll cut it open and show you how good it is. All right guys, here's the finished product. We're gonna cut it open and see how it looks. Um, it smells good. There you go. Absolutely perfect. Keto-friendly dinner. Everybody's going to love it. Whole family. It's fantastic. Enjoy.